Before attempting to replace your current relief valve, you're going to want to make sure you have the correct replacement. Ensure that the size, temperature, pressure, and BTU rating match the current water heater's relief valve. This information is located at the end of the relief valve. Turn your gas control to the pilot setting so it won't be firing during this process. Close the cold water supply to the tank. If this valve isn't functional, you can close the main water valve to the residence. Connect a hose to the drain and drain off roughly 5 to 10 gallons of water. This will bring the water level in the tank below the level of the relief valve. To check if the water level is below the level of the relief valve, you can pull the lever on the end of the relief valve. If no water comes out, you're safe to remove it. Remove the drip tube on the end of the relief valve. Apply Teflon tape to the threads in a clockwise direction when the threads are facing you. Remove the old relief valve in a counterclockwise direction using a pipe wrench or adjustable pliers. Install the new relief valve hand tight first and then the remainder with a wrench. Ensure that the relief port is aiming straight down. Teflon tape and reinstall the drip tube. Open the cold water supply only partially to slowly fill the system and avoid water hammer. Open a hot faucet, preferably at the highest level, to purge the air as the tank is filling. Once the water flows without any air, you can close the faucet. You can now open your cold water supply fully and check for leaks. The last step is turning your gas control back into the on position. 